Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this quick tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to change the text inside the View Event button on an event list in your Squarespace website. As always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'll go ahead and share my screen with you to teach you exactly how to use them in Squarespace. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and to add this code to our site, I'm going to navigate to Pages, and then Website Tools, and then Custom CSS. Let's scroll down on this page a little bit so we can see this View Event button. That's what we're going to customize here. I'm going to add this line of code that says Event List Button, and then I'm going to say Font Size 0, exclamation point, important. And immediately, the text has disappeared, but the clickable button is still there. So let's add our own custom text that will go inside that button. We're going to enter a new line of code that says event list button and we'll say after. Opening up a curly bracket now, we can add our own custom content. Here I'm going to say learn more. Typing that text out, we don't see anything yet because the font size is still zero. So we need to add a semicolon and now we can say font size, how about 16px exclamation point important. And now the button says learn more, where before it said view event. You can also add Unicode characters here. At insidethesquare.co forward slash Unicode, I have a whole list of characters that are compatible with most fonts in Squarespace. I'm going to grab this arrow right here. Back in our custom CSS, I'll paste it right here after learn more. And now I've got an arrow in that button. And you'll notice I still have a clickable button functioning with my own text here inside Squarespace. Update what's in between those quotation marks so it displays the text that you want to see. I'll go ahead and select save and we'll call this tutorial good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find the code that we use to change that text. And you'll also find a link to a related tutorial that will teach you how to change the style of that button. By default, it's set to match the style of your primary button at Squarespace, but you could use just a little bit of custom code to change even more details about it, like the background color, the size, the shape, all kinds of fun stuff. Check out that related video linked in the description below to learn more. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, then you are going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I've created a Notion database to hold all of the selectors for everything I want to modify on a Squarespace website. I've packed it with pro tips and custom code snippets that you can use to make your Squarespace website uniquely yours. Get access to this game-changing database at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.